Welcome to the Farmer Scientist series. Today, we're going to talk all about irrigation. Have you guys ever wondered how you're able to play in the sprinklers, take a hot shower, or even water your plants? That's all due to irrigation. Irrigation is the supply of water to land or crops to help growth, typically by means of a channel. Irrigation can be traced back all the way to ancient Mesopotamia. And in today's day, we use it for dams, canals, rivers, and so much more. To get started, here's all the things that we'll need, plus a marker. Don't forget to have your books to help increase gravity. Here we'll use some tape to measure our water line to figure out how much water is moving from the cup at one time. Now before we get started, let's come up with a hypothesis. A hypothesis is basically a theory or a guess that we come up with before we have all the information. My hypothesis is that the braided twine will move the least amount of water because it is not porous enough. And also that the bandana will move the most amount of water. My results? The bandana actually moved the least amount of water, probably because it had the most fabric for the water to have to move through. If you guys are doing this experiment at home, share it with us at hashtag growingyceducation. Later.